What's up guys and welcome. So what I'm going to do now is a really quick tutorial for everyone on how to uh, add, edit, delete and designate waypoints in the F-18. Just a really bitty basics guide just so everyone has uh, can get the groups that basic functionality. Okay, so for the purpose of this what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilise the right hand DDI and I'm going to use, uh, select the HSI. Okay, so I'm going to select HSI. Okay, so as you can see, in, if I scroll through the waypoints, there's a couple of waypoints in this mission already. However, uh, we're, we're not going to worry about those, we might delete one of them. So to basically do all the functions that we mentioned, all we want to do is we want to select the data button on the top hand or right uh, socket. Okay, so as you can see, as we scroll through the waypoints, you can see the uh, waypoint information is displayed. So at the bottom, you'll see uh, there's sort of a sequence of numbers this is effectively your route this is or sequence as it's known in the F-18 so effectively this is our flight plan the way that our waypoints are going to be selected so as you can see we've currently got five waypoints however we're going to go through adding a new waypoint now so if we go into the sequence button just on the bottom left hand side if we press that we get a couple of uh, options come up on the UFC we're only worried about insert and delete so if we press insert, we can now insert a new waypoint, so add a new waypoint to this sequence. So we're going to go for waypoint 6 and press enter. As you can see now, waypoint 6 is, is uh, displayed. So if we now scroll up to waypoint 6, you can see there's no information selected. However, we're basically going to uh, input that ourselves now. Okay, so first, uh, first point of information is that we need long and latitude coordinates for the F-18. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the F-10 menu and Basically, if you find your target location, if you look in the top left, if you've got your options selected for long and lat, you'll see it's displayed in reference to where your mouse marker is. So we select it onto a position, so say the disused airfield, you can see the long and latitude on there. So that's what I'm going to use for this. So if I scroll back, okay, so the way I'm going to add this is I've selected the waypoint I want to edit, and now I'm going to press the UFC button because everything that we edit is done in conjunctions with, uh, with the buttons on the UFC. So if we select UFC, we now get another couple of options. So we've got position and elevation. They're the only two we're worried about now. So to add the waypoint uh, coordinates, we're going to select position. And now we need to add our north coordinates. So to do that, N is conveniently located on the soft key number two. So we're going to press that and that's up for our north coordinates. So we're going to type in our coordinates as, as follows. So 415031. And then we just press enter and you'll see that information has now gone next to the uh, the N on waypoint 6. So now we need our east coordinates. So we press number 6 for east and then we get the E displayed. So now we can add the coordinates. So 414752 and then we press enter once again. Okay, as you can see, the last two digits in the coordinates have changed from what I actually input. So I put in 415031 for the northing and the easting was four one four seven five two however those last two digits are very much different the reason for that is because it converts the seconds as I put them in into a decimal decimal place per minute effectively so don't worry about that so much it's the it's basically automatically making that color uh, that correction for you okay so if I press UFC again to get the display up the final thing I need for my waypoint especially if you're going to place a target waypoint is elevation so if we press the elevation button and my my elevation is done in feet so if I select feet and type in 33 and press enter you'll see the elevation for the waypoint has now gone to 33 feet not a massive problem if you're just using the waypoint to navigate however if you're using it to have as a target waypoint then you want the waypoint to show on the ground where the target is therefore the elevation for the target is pretty paramount okay so that's how we add a new waypoint and edit the information in it really really simple how do we delete a waypoint Okay, so if we if we go into the sequence button, we now have the insert which we've utilized to insert a new waypoint, and now we've got delete. So if we select delete and we type in the waypoint number we wish to delete, so waypoint two and press enter, that'll then delete waypoint two. As you see now in the sequence, it's zero, one, three, four, five, six. So waypoint two has now been deleted. If we scroll down through, waypoint two is still shown in there, however, it's deleted for our current sequence. Okay, so if we now go back to the HSI and we ensure we've got waypoints selected, so our HUD now corresponds with the waypoints. Select waypoint six, 
So we selected the uh, disused airfield just south of Cobbaletti. So what we'll do now is we'll just turn towards that. We'll just keep turning until we get the steering queue in our uh, HUD. Okay then, so now we're heading towards our waypoint location. We can now start looking about how to designate one as a target. So we're going to use this, this waypoint that we've entered, waypoint 6. So if we come down to the DDI and we look in the right hand queue, so we see waypoint designate. If we press that button, that will then disappear and now we see target instead of waypoint. So what that's done is that is now has designated our uh, waypoint that we've selected as a target. And if you look in the HUD about center of the, on the right hand side, you can see a distance to the target as well, where it would normally show distance to waypoint. So you see the diamond now, we can now see exactly where that is and we can utilize that as a visual reference for manual release of weapons or in conjunction with the CCRP mode. So if we press the uh, target button once again, it will now deselect and we can then select the waypoint soft key. And that goes back to a normal waypoint just like it was before we designated it as a target. Thanks for watching guys and if you did like the video please feel free to uh, subscribe and like the video for any future content. Uh, this is the first tutorial I'll be doing in the F-18. I'll be doing short tutorials like this for more features as they become uh, available. So thanks for watching guys and stay safe.